G'day everybody and welcome to this fine Sunday morning of our playthrough of Dinkum. The previous episode we went into the deep mines the second time and uh, that time we came a little bit better prepared with the candle hat and the torch, uh, made everything a lot easier to spot uh, and we had a, a pretty good run actually. Now yesterday we also constructed the new bee house which is awesome. We don't have any honey yet, so I'm not entirely sure how often we can actually gather the honey, but uh, I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Now, since we did pick up a lot of iron in the deep mines yesterday, it might actually be a good idea for us to craft another bee house. And so we'll have a couple of them going and hopefully that'll give us a little bit of passive income, as I mentioned yesterday. Just pick up some uh, some limes. Now, oh, was this patch here before? I don't recall this being here before. That's uh, leading me to sort of suspect that some of the the ore patches uh, reappear after a while, possibly. Hmm. Okay. Now, it is a Sunday, so we can't really sell too much stuff to John, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we can probably get into a few other things. I'm not entirely sure of going into the mines again today, because, yeah, we've only got 9,000 dink. I think the pass is like 20, 25,000 dink, so, yeah, you really need to sort of make it worth it. But, anyway, since we're here, we might get started with uh, smelting and, yeah, just generally sort of do stuff around town. We'll probably ask people if they need anything. Now, where's John? You might want to hang out as well with John, so uh, you never know. Morning, Blue. What's up? It's nice to see you today, Blue. We don't have to do a transaction today. Having this discussion is nearly as nice as making some dinks. Let's see. Duck, hawker, dragonfly. What? I've never heard of <laughs> such a dragonfly in my life. Uh, a dusk hawker, sorry. Dusk hawker dragonfly are in the pine woods this time of year. Oh, um. That actually reminds me, we are on the first day of the new month, right? So, does that mean that the seasons changed? Oh, yeah, it does say AUT there below Sunday, so. I'm assuming it's actually autumn now, so if we go out, we might actually find different insects, different fish, etc, etc. So, uh, there, there is a visitor today, so, oh, it's rain. Hey, how can I help? Uh, let's chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Let's just talk. If you treat your crops with care, feed them and love them, then they will love you back. You'll get back more than you sow. Hmm, okay. Uh, we've got the option to buy some seeds here. Might be a... Might be a good thing to get into. Let's see if she needs anything. Oh, Blue, you have a mining license, right? I think you can help me out and rustle up two bags of cement? It would really help me out. Okay. Um, that'll be pretty easy to do. Let's check out the bulletin. Cooking some fish and chips. Making fish and chips, and I'm short flake. Short of flake. If anyone can bring me flake, I'll happily share some fish and chips with you. One flake. Okay. 
I mean, we've not found a flake before, so I'm not entirely sure where we can find them, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go anyway, so. Speaking of fish and chips, flake is, I would say, definitely the best for fish and chips. But yeah, if you've got a preference for fish and chips, let me know down in the comments below. Might give that a try next time. Alright, so let's see if we can organise stuff here. I mean, we've got so much stuff. Sort of just want to store things if we can. Yeah, we've got plenty of space in here. Just put some junk in there for now. I don't really know what we'll use the bat wings for. Hopefully, not eating. Okay, and we've got the um, got the rocks that we need to make that cement. So let's maybe get that get that started. And um, could probably get the new apiary going. Okay, so spin effects, hardwood. Uh, do we have any resin? Oh, just one. So we'll need one more. about all this iron ore that we got from yesterday. Um, that's really going to come in handy, I reckon. Chuck that in there, and yeah, not much tin ore left, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure we'll find uses for the tin bars. Do we have everything we need for the bee house? Yes, we do. Go ahead and craft that. Very good. Alright. So we should be able to get that going. Alright, so let's uh actually let's have a chat with Fletch. See if she needs anything. Okay, a stink bug. Hmm. Don't know why you would want one of those, but anyway. Yeah, I reckon, I mean, since it's a new season now, I suppose we should just really do some exploration and see what we can find, right? Yeah, those cooked apples really came in handy the other day, didn't they? Really helped us replenish our HP. Chuck that away. Got the cement that uh, rain needs. Ah, oh, we can make a couple of meat on a stick since we've got all this meat. Okay, very good. Uh, keep going with the smelting. All right. Um, oh, we won't really need the torch for now, will we? So let's put that away and put the spin effects away. Don't really need this wattle flower. Don't need the nails or the wooden torches for now. Uh, let's cook more apples and get this iron ore going. And let's have a chat with Rain now. What? What? 
Two bags of cement. There you go. Tough green boots. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's give that a go. Uh, did I change it? No. Ah, there you go. That actually looks pretty cool. I'll uh, rock that for a little bit. Let's see. I don't know when rain's going to come visit again, so really, I am interested in seeing if we can get some farming going. So these grow during autumn and winter. They grow over 11 days. They can produce two corn. They continue to produce two corns every six days. Okay. And because this is the first day of the month, is probably the best time to actually start growing stuff. Hmm. 1,100 each. Okay. Or... Yeah, look, let's give it a try, right? We'll probably need to construct the scarecrow as well. Uh, just to make sure that no birds eat our crops. So I wonder if we'll need a hoe or the watering can. Let's see how much the watering can costs. Uh, okay. Mm. So the problem is, will I actually be able to water <laughs> any of my crops? Hoe the dirt, make it all soft and stuff. 800. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. Although, I think we're not going to be able to really start any of our farming until we actually can buy a watering can, because how else are we going to be able to water our crops? Hmm. Grow during summer and autumn. They grow over 11 days. They produce three tomatoes. Okay. Three tomatoes every six days. 1,620 each. Okay. Well, we will get into the farming, but um, we'll probably only do that once we get the watering can in hand. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't have enough money for it right now. Have we spoken to Theodore to see if he needs anything? Uh, 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 yeah, Welcome to the museum. What can I do you for? Blue sneakers. Mm. Okay. Okay, we're getting all sorts of um, stuff to wear now. Hmm, yeah, not bad. Uh, I do want to put all of our uh, clothes away though. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for our fishing rod and I am looking for our net as well. We not have a net. Seriously? Oh no, here it is. Ah, oh. <laughs> getting uh, scared there for a second. Um, we might keep the hoe and the corn seeds at home because the plan is I think I want to grow stuff near the house, so it'll be sort of like a farmstead, you know? Um, let's check on the choco. Looking good. Got an egg there. I don't need to pick it up today, I don't think, because uh, I could probably pick it up tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I do want to make sure we feed her. So, let's chuck that there. Let's chuck all of our clothing items. Ok, 
Okay, and um, maybe we'll have a chat with John. See if he'd be willing to hang out and give us a hand with fishing and catching insects and you know all sorts of stuff. And yeah, hopefully we can find the stuff that people are looking for. I forget who wants what. <laughs> Uh, let's put stuff away. Probably don't need the bars. Um, oh yeah, gotta put that away at home. Uh, that's cooked meat. Alright. Let's uh, see if John wants to come with us. Arvo already, eh, Blue? Oh no, not yet. It's already the bloody Arvo. Jeez. <laughs> it's not that bad, mate. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's hang out. Mm. Yeah, I'm up for it. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's get going and um, see if he can give us a hand with stuff. So, probably need, we could probably get into some of that, some of the, um, treasure hunting. Okay, let's, uh, catch all the things. Okay, so the Scarlet Jezebels are still around in autumn. Ooh, looks like we've caught something. Just quickly grab that. A Larga Day. Okay, we've seen that before. Okay. We should place this down, shouldn't we? And uh, that way we'll have a little bit more space for stuff. Okay. And these away. Uh, we can get him to help us with some fishing as well, right? So, all right, so let's, uh, let's set off. I think um, one of the dragonflies, um, sorry, the dragonflies that he wants should be in the tropics, did he say? So maybe we should head that way. See what are the other tasks like Duskwalker Dragonfly. Yeah, hoping that John can actually, you know, help us a bunch with stuff. Um, you know, that might be a way to sort of conserve durability on certain things, or stamina, for that matter. Uh, and I forget where we can find Flake, actually. thing that I wasn't sure of last time was whether or not um, John would be able to help us with the fishing. It looks like he's getting a little bit stuck for, for the time being. <laughs> a jungle perch? I think someone... did someone need a jungle perch? No. That might have been a different day. <laughs> uh, Alright. We're running out of hardwood actually, so maybe we'll get him to help us with this. Come on, dude. Nice. Keep going.
Hmm. Yeah, mechanics a little bit, you know, janky. Janky. Doesn't always seem to work. Alright. Get him to... Well, I guess we can cut this down ourselves. Alright. And... Come on, dude. Ooh. Is this what we're looking for? No. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Oh, very good. Um, just want to eat some fruits. Yeah, we've got a lot of space at the moment, so probably catch all the things that we see. Now the other thing is we may have missed our chance for the dragonflies because uh, it is dark already unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. Go on, get him. Maybe he might be a little bit more useful if uh, we were going up against like a predator, you know, something that lasts a little longer. Now, it most certainly doesn't feel like autumn. I uh, haven't really noticed like huge seasonal changes, but might be more evident later on. Where is John? There he is. He is stuck for some reason. So um, the whole sort of hanging out thing becomes a little bit of a babysitting situation, <laughs> which is uh, not the best. Okay, good. if there are, aren't any fish that we can catch here because we still need to find a flake for Theodore if we can what is that that's a pretty big one come on look over here oh damn it's gone the other way Yeah, it doesn't look like John does any of the fishing with us. Alright, this fish is getting very difficult to attract. I don't think I've seen this one before, so hopefully, hopefully it's what we're looking for. Oh no, we have seen it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't need those claps, man. I just need uh, I just need you to help me. <laughs> ah. Well, I wonder if uh, you know, just um, being here increases the relationship meter. You know, just hanging out. Uh, mindful of jumping up onto these 
big platforms because with the pathing as it is, I don't think John can actually follow us. Oh, okay. Uh, do I really want to mess with the emus with John around? I don't know. Come on, dude. All right. So they're all asleep. Ooh, and that's where I left my trap. So let's grab that. Uh, and yeah, them being asleep is all right. <laughs> Probably grab these bananas. Now maybe a good idea would be to have, you know, all types of different um, veggies and fruits and all that sort of stuff growing near home so that, you know, we can easily harvest and craft all the things that require all the different types of fruits and veggies. Hmm, just an idea. But we'll see how we go, obviously. Come on, dude. It's not the best uh, in terms of mechanics at the moment, so um, this being in early access, hopefully, uh, hopefully James uh, improves the mechanic, the hanging out mechanic. One other thing that would be cool is if they had like an inventory as well, that would be awesome. But I suppose it would be a bit weird to manage. Um, Alright, let's go back, make sure that John can actually get down from this hill. Can you come down here? Okay, looks for another path. Right, I don't think we're going to have any luck with the dragonfly today. Oh, look at all this palm wood here. <laughs> I'm just remembering the first few days of uh, playing this game and how hard it was to find <laughs> those bloody palm wood trees. Um, that's another catfish. Actually, there's another fish over there. Maybe we'll try and fish that one. Ah, oh, darn. Ah. Oh. John, you're standing a little bit too close to me, mate. It's almost 10 o'clock as well, so we don't really have much left in the day, do we? A boof head catfish. <laughs> uh, interesting name, to say the least. Ah, oh, we are out of stamina. Uh, is that a catfish? might be. We'll leave that one. I 
And that's another catfish. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if we can make our way to maybe the rivers around that side. Possibly. John's just pretty much watching all the things that we're going to be selling, <laughs> selling him tomorrow. Uh, come on, John. Can you come down? Ah, oh, seriously. Okay. Um, gonna have to come down from here. Come on, let's go. And let's try and cross. I think that's another boothead catfish right there. Now this whole thing with like the NPCs walking on water, <laughs> I reckon that needs to be addressed at some point as well. <laughs> Come on. Possibly. A cop. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's, as I said, make our way towards the other river. And I think that's going to have to be it for the day guys so yeah unfortunately didn't really get to do too much today I really really want to get into the um, farming at some point but I'm mindful of starting to farm and not having the right tools to actually do it properly you know I think this might be another catfish, but you know what? We can take it. further north. See if we can find any other types of fish there. Not sure what that one is. feeling we've probably caught one of these before. Mangrove Jack. Ah. Oh. What's worth more? I reckon Mangrove Jack. Oh, actually, let's uh, swap out the feather. All right. Well, since our pockets are full and um, it's late, I think it's about time to go home, call it a day. So let's do that. Okay. And yeah, maybe we'll uh, dismiss John as well. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.
Cool. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can make his way back home um, with no issues. <laughs> and hopefully none of the uh, evil emus get him uh, on the way home. I didn't realize, but um, going into the deep mines costs a lot of money, so we've got to keep that in mind, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the strategy is when we actually have a need for all of those ores, we go down there and do a bit of mining. I don't know if uh, visitors might stay a couple of days rather than just one day. Because if they do, I really hope <laughs> rain hangs around uh, till tomorrow because I would love to buy all the things that she has to sell. So, but anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.